close your eyes and find a way of breathing with which you can be at peace. In other words, the mind can stay with this kind of breathing, it can stay alert and stay comfortably. And that requires a balance. If the breath is too refined, sometimes it'll push you to sleep. If it's too energizing, okay, then you get worked up. You have to find just the right balance, what feels good for the body right now. And what you may find is that the needs of the body will change. So you adjust the breath accordingly. When you find a place you can stay at peace inside, then it's a lot easier not to get worked up about things outside. There's a lot of talk during this season about peace on earth, peace on earth. Well, for, you have to first find that peace in the mind, because the lack of peace on earth is not because of tornadoes or earthquakes. It's because of human beings. They can't be at peace, and so they go around stirring up trouble. And if you're going to tell the rest of the human race to stop stirring up trouble, first you've got to stop stirring up trouble inside yourself. The way you look for pleasure, the way you look for happiness. And usually that comes from the fact that you can't find any happiness inside. So you turn around and try to create a sense of being at home in here, at peace with the breath, at peace with the body, at peace with the present moment. Because no matter how bad your situation, the mind doesn't have to suffer from the situation outside. It's how the mind stabs itself with its own thoughts and its own attitudes. That's why the mind isn't at peace. So that is something that can be changed. And you can change it. You don't have to wait for the rest of the world to agree that this is a good thing to do. You can do it for yourself. And as you learn how to create fewer and fewer wounds in the mind in the present moment, then you find that there is a sense of well-being, just being right here. Even if the body is sick, even if other things are not going the way you want them to, there can be a sense of well-being. When you have that, then it's a lot easier to be a peaceful influence in the world. It's not a matter of having the right view, it's a matter of having the right way of finding your own happiness. It's nothing you're going to impose on anybody else. But through your example, you can show that it is possible to be at peace. Other people see your example, they get interested. They want to know how to do it, too. And that's how peace spreads around in the world. So it's got to start right here. So find a sense of well-being, find a sense of ease right here, and everything will grow out of that. <laughs>